What's going on guys? It's your boy Slayer Stream TV. We're back with another ASA modding dev kit video. Today I'm going to be showing you the two methods that I know about um, for bringing over assets from the Epic Store so then you can utilize them in your mod and create something way more unique and way more amazing than just some generic arc vanilla asset resource type of thing, right? So let's get right into it. Now, of course, the only way this is going to work is you got to come into your Epic Store launcher. Now, most of us know, and if you don't know, I'll, I'll explain really quickly. You can either purchase your any asset you want from the Epic Store that's available. You could always hire somebody to create an asset for you if they are a good modeler or they just know how to create materials or whatever the case may be. So there's different methods of gaining assets from the for, for Unreal Engine 5. Um, most most of the time you can find them just within the marketplace of the epic epic store launcher and you can always get free assets if you don't have the money for it and there are sometimes some pretty good free assets that you can utilize now whenever you purchase an asset you'll come over here into of course your unreal engine you'll come to your library and you'll see all the assets that you've purchased or that you've gotten for free like most of mine the majority of these are free okay so we'll come here we'll do the craft resource icons asset we're gonna easiest way to add an asset first things first what I did because there's two methods that I utilize is I installed the Unreal Engine 5 editor I created a project and everything just so I can add assets to them so I'll show you this way first this is the first method all right so you click add to project you'll see that you'll notice that's the Unreal Engine 5 project that I created which is my project I click it easy peasy I add it to my project right now depending on the size of your asset will determine how long the uh, speed is for installing it into the project itself so bear in mind it does you know it could take a couple minutes it could t depending it could take a couple hours I don't know it also may determine on your computer as well now it said it added it now I already have under 105 opened up so we'll see down here oh it imported something wants to get imported will import the content sometimes I see this notification in my project and Unreal Engine 5 sometimes you do sometimes you don't I think it just depends on the asset but I could be wrong okay now once this is done we will automatically have as you can see we have all the assets I've uploaded in here first but where is the one right here crafting resources the one we just uploaded right boom it's there accessible we have all these cool little 2d 3d pictures that we could utilize for icons you know whatever we want to do but how do we get it over to the unreal engine uh, 5 dev kit right for the arc survival ascended well this is what I, this is what i've done in the past so first i want to right click on the asset in my unreal engine 5 editor and go and click on show and explore right when you do that it'll pull up the file where it's located wherever you have your Unreal Engine 5 and it will just basically take you to where it's located in the Explorer now what I did in the past was I would go and open a secondary Explorer and you could do this part you can do in two different methods you can search for it yourself which is basically going into where your dev kit is installed and finding where all your content is like right here this is what's in the dev kit this is what you see when you open the, the dev kit the reason i know this is because i created a file a while back for the epic store content and this is all the assets i've moved over from the epic store that are similar and the majority of what's in here okay is what i have here i don't use all these assets and some of these i actually have to remove but there's little bits and pieces i use from all of them right so now we want to move say this crafting resource icons over here simply we're just drag and play drag it over boom it's here so now whenever I load up my arc dev kit it will automatically be in there and I will sh show you that at the end of the video because honestly I doubt y'all want to sit here for five years while it tries to load up the dev kit but I'll show you that uh, I'll show you that towards the end of the video. It's gonna be it's gonna be very very quick. Now there is another method, which doesn't require having these explorers. Heck, you don't even need to have this um, 
Unreal Engine 5 editor open, right? So we can close that up. We'll open up the dev kit. Uh, sorry, not the dev kit. The Epic Launcher. And we'll come back in here to the Unreal Engine into our library, right? And the same method that we did previously is we could always, we'll, we'll do something else. Um, where is it? We'll do free fantasy weapon sample. Says it's free. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Um, great. We'll do, even though it's already added, we'll go ahead and add it again. Actually, where's one I haven't added? Let's, let's do that. Okay, here, we'll do this one. Magic gym pack. So say we don't want it. We don't want to put it. This is the other method I was talking about. So say you don't want to do it directly from your Unreal Engine 5, then you go through the process of opening up in the Explorer and dragging the file into the dev kit and boom, it's there. You can always add it directly to your dev kit. All you have to do is if even though you don't see the arc dev kit here in this little area, when you say add to project, all you have to do is click show all projects and boom, there's your arc dev kit. It'll show up automatically. So all you have to do is click it and next it will say asset not compatible with version other. Please select closest altered alternative sorry very uh version and you'll just click the newest version 5.3 because that's what our unreal engine uh that's what our dev kit sorry is uh using and if we do that we just click add to project and it does the same method and will directly install it into the dev kit itself the same way it did for the unreal engine uh five editor now to show you that it worked we will open up our dev kit which will honestly probably close out our epics launcher like it always does and i will show you that both of those assets for the from the first way we did it and the second way we did it are installed directly to the dev kit and all you have to do is utilize them right but there's one thing i need to let you know if this is if you are using assets from the Epic Store for your mod, regardless if it's structures, if you're creating your own um, crafting stations, if you want your own, like every, if you want everything to look unique, and this, and it goes for dinos as well, you cannot just think it's a plug and play type of thing when it comes to using these assets. Because I will tell you right now from firsthand experience, if you just think it's a plug and play, you will end up having something either broken or it will just look completely wrong. And everything you did, you'll spend probably hours trying to figure out why isn't this working? Okay, so we'll do the same thing, import it. And we're in our dev kit, right? So while that's importing those files, now keep in mind the original way or oh, sorry, the first way we did things was we we installed the files directly into our dev kit into this folder of the Epic Stores. So now you can see it's right here, our crafting resource icons. That that's the one we opened up. Oh, hello. Okay, I don't know why that's not there. Maybe I'm tripping. Huh? I guess that way it just got utterly destroyed anyways but yes it's supposed to have the files there why it's not there i don't remember but that might explain why i saw so much red when the arc dev kit uh started up but yeah as you can see it's there why that's not just why that's just a file i could not tell you you see all the assets are there so maybe if we we'll be right back <laughs> because i'm gonna restart the dev kit and we're gonna find out what happened and we're back. So I guess either something changed or something went wrong when I did it, but that's not showing what's supposed to be there, even though, you know, in the folder itself, it's showing. So something might've went wrong on that part, but I do apologize, but that is a method. It does work. I've seen it work before, but the other way is a lot easier because it's a direct, let me go ahead and delete this because it's a direct, um, what the, okay, whatever, we'll fix that later. Because you're directly installing your Epic Store assets into your dev kit. And when you do that, do what I do. Try to remember or write down the specific asset 
that you are now installing into your dev kit so then you can find the name within the files because they'll be they'll right here where it says content in your folders that's where it'll be and it'll be based on your name so here's the one we used it was magic gems that's what we looked for and boom and these are just icons so you know i there's nothing extra you have to do with them but it worked this way is a lot easier it's a lot of course it's way more guaranteed to actually work compared to the f original first method that i was using before which could have you know changed over a couple of days with all the new updates that have come out i don't know i'm i'm honestly that i was always installing them the second way uh now that i found that out so i do apologize that the first one did not work for this video but hey it, I mean, the other way is way easier and you it's less steps you have to worry about. And if you're like me and you want to ensure that they're all, you know, in the same folder for all your assets, though it's easier to find, you can always create a new folder within your content folder and easily make one for like Epic Store or Epic Store Assets or whatever you want to name it, like I've done, and have all your assets right here ready to go and ready to be accessible. Now, like I was saying before, is don't think these assets are ready to go, okay? I'll show you for an example. When you first get an uh, asset within the dev kit, a lot of these assets come with different things. Like here, you can see we have all these props, but they're all blank, right? They, have, they don't really have any materials or skins attached to them. But in reality, they're supposed to. Okay, like right, let's see, and I'll even do this. I'll even come over here to the Kraken, right? As you can see, this is a dino. It's an asset that was free on the Epic Store, and nothing's set up. The skeleton's not associated with the skeletal mesh. You have to ensure that you. There's a certain way to get this to work. I don't. I don't know what it is, but nothing's set up. The materials are not set up. As you can see, when I clicked on it, now we have all these errors. This is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. You have to go through all of your assets that you bring over from the Epic Store whenever they are installed into your dev kit. Why this is, I have no idea. So if anybody from the wildcard team that does the ARC modding dev kit stuff, maybe you can let me know in the comments or... Maybe there's something on y'all's end y'all can fix, so this isn't an issue, but materials, animations, all of that stuff, once you, normally from the Epic Store, if you go into your Unreal Engine 5 editor, they're already set up, they're ready to go, but you come over here to the dev kit, and you insert an Epic Store asset, they're not ready to go. You have to assign everything. So like for here, here's the base color, and we would have to do we would have to add the base color into the texture pack. And it's like, we're literally having to reassign everything. Why this is, what is this? Why this is, I don't know. And it's annoying. Now doing a dyno, it's very, very easy because it's literally, if you look, oh, let this save. If you look at what it's asking, most of the time these assets have the correct, have a good name to them to where you can, it's uh, matching everything up. So like base color to base color. This was metallic. So you're looking for a roughness, metallic, specular, you know, the normal, and then the uh, ambient occlusion, which is the AO. It's easy. But when you come to materials themselves, let me show you. Let me see. Where is it? Where is all my... There we go. So we'll come here. When it comes to materials like this, where there's all these different materials, and then you have textures that literally come in texture packs where it's like, oh, here's three, but you only got these two because they're using other textures from other materials. It's one of those things to where you have to figure it out. Like for this one, like I spent my time to where I would have Unreal Engine 5 and the Arc Dev Kit edit. I would have both editors 
basically I have the dev kit open and the Unreal Engine 5 editor open and I would be one over here on one screen I have another screen on the other side because I have two monitors and that's how I would set everything up now it's it's easy it seems uh, complicated but it's not the second method of course is a lot easier than the uh, first method that I showed you because it actually worked on video which is kind of crazy that the first one didn't but regardless that's how you bring over assets from the epic store that I know of if you know of any other ways that can avoid the whole uh, reassigning textures to your materials re and re having to redesignate animations to the skeletal and all this that and the third you know how to avoid all that when adding assets to the dev kit let me know in the comments let everybody know in the comments because as far as I know you have to go bit by bit and reassign everything once you put them in the arc dev kit as of right now and it sucks but i mean if you really want to get creative with your mod that's what you're going to probably have to do as far as i'm as far as i know now don't quote me on anything this is just based on my own opinion and based on my own knowledge besides that guys i love you i appreciate y'all stopping by i hope to see you in the next one peace